Okay, um, the aim of this uh, video is basically for me to like do a sort of diary of the drift and where it's going so far and what I've done and all the rest of it. So it's been uh, about, well it has been, it's been one week, one week since um, I sort of thought about actually doing this seriously and it came from a conversation I had with uh, William, one of my brothers, talking about Starlight and the great big project that that is and, oh wait, I'll put that down a bit, there we go. <laughs> That starlight and what a big project that is and could be too big for us um, and also having been to rain dance to sort of consolidate sort of film experiences and stuff like that about um, stuff done in the past and how the industry does it the, the connections between the two and also sort of marrying up cinders stuff as well so put all that in like being one big pot the, sort of the outcome of that was to do something simple something fun something that we could do and, and was proven and that's where the graveyard idea came up where you've got these ships which are uh, drifting in space and then um, a ship comes along to try and salvage pieces from it which is a sort of standard thing that goes on um, and then they end up being <laughs> this week well okay so I've been thinking about that as a story um, and I've written um, documents uh, like a plot on just in word um, of all my thoughts and then started um, uh, producing this uh, sort of producers diary um, sort of folder and it's, it's nothing grand you know on the inside there I've got um, just a calendar with all the outline of, of, of the dates and stuff what's coming out so I can start writing notes pictures of I found on the internet of sort of inspiration of stuff what have you and then uh, starting to get down sort of the nitty gritty of actually um, timings itself so all the different jobs that need to be done and then the, the, the months going along here I know you can't see this but the point being is that it's a blank document now and the idea is to start thinking well what sort of things do I need to think about well I need to think about permissions to film um, casting rehearsals uh, testing computer testing that that kind of stuff um, cameras, costumes, props, set building, and then dividing it all the sets into uh, the building into different sets. So, like the salvage ship, the corridors, um, makeup, you know, um, injuries, um, blood, all that kind of stuff. So, um, just write them down, just in no no particular order. Just all things that you know, everything that comes in, is in the head. Get it on paper, and then start thinking about when am I going to do it, what are my deadlines, stuff like that. So I've done that, and then I've sort of got a rough. This is a sort of rough diary of stuff. So as things sort of go into my head, I just sort of write them down, uh, put a line between each one and just say, you know, so that's a costume thing. So what we've got in here, costumes, um, what I want to look like, and then things like, you know, recommending viewing, and what film should I be watching to get influences. And then I thought of a scary moment, I put here, uh, a zombie takes a space suit and turns around uh, and goes, ah, so some sort of thing, like you've got a guy working in the corner saying, hey man, hey, come on, help us out here. And the guy ignores him and he's in the space suit. He goes up to him, hey, come on, put taps him on the shoulder, and of course he turns around and he's a zombie. Ugh. Well, not a zombie, but one of those creatures. So that sort of thing, just right, it doesn't matter when it goes in, it goes down here, and then eventually that'll go into a Word document and it'll be divided up into all the separate areas that those things relate to. And then when that, that happens, I then take the sheet out, button it, bring it in the bin, probably keep it somewhere and make loads of money in the future or some of these original scriptures or whatever. So, anyways, that's that. Um, then, sort of set building. So, uh, influences for set. Um, so, obviously, from you know, the alien film, that sort of thing, sort of, that sort of style. Um, corridors, even things like this I've just found on the web. The idea of that is to sort of say we could build sets with blue screen. I don't think actually this is blue screen, but um, the idea is we could sort of mix and match the two. You know, it's not, it's not a new concept, it's just something that keeps it in there to remind me to do it. And then, um, what else have I done? The sort of some set designs, some ideas of um, what the set could look like, um, sort of sketches of corridors, stuff like that. Um, and then one idea is a sort of bit more, a bit more grand sort of idea there of a, like a multi-layer sort of hangar bay, and then a bit up there. Of course, we might just build that bit and then blue screen all this and have it as CGI or something like that. Yeah, don't know. Just you know, that's sort of the um, sort of thing. So that's what I've been doing in one in one week. I've done that. Um, the next thing um, I've also been doing is is, is trying to sort out where we're actually going to film it, and I've gone back to uh, Waddington to try and see if we can film there, like we did for The Empress New Clones, 
And I've had to have about three or four meetings. I've had to show them my uh, certificate of public liability cover, insurance, um, uh, credentials of what we've done in the past, you know, raise money for charity, um, demonstrated that we know what we're doing, we've done health and safety and all that kind of stuff. So um, I've had about three meetings, four meetings, with different people at different levels showcasing the film, what it's about, what it's going to achieve, what it's good for, um, to get their buy-in. And we have. So that's taken about a week to sort that out. And that's been kind of a driver for this particular film because um, it's, it's all filmed on a set because it's set in space. Um, so it will be on a set or on a blue screen. Um, and I need to have a place that I can rely on and that I can stay at pretty much whenever I want to be able to film. Now, we're very lucky to get this because it means we've got we've got this facility for the best part of six months. Now it doesn't mean we have it all the time, but we have sections of it and that kind of stuff. It requires constant communication with both um, the actors, cast, crew, and the the landowners, as it were. So that's been really important, and that's been a driver. So before I was able to sort of start pushing out into the next sort of circle of of commitment, I've dealt with the crucial bits first. There's no point speaking to people. You know that I don't even know on casting calls and stuff like that. I've not even got a location, effectively, or a set. So that's that thing. The next thing I've done is I've sort of let back our productions know uh, what's going on, um, trying to get their buy-in. So sort of sorting out my dream team. So who do I really need? Well, I need a production designer because um, I've got lots of reference images, but I need someone to make it ours. So I need a production designer. Uh, I'm going to need someone to do the costumes. Uh, I'll need someone to oversee all the set building. Um, and ideally someone to oversee all the camera work. So those are really sort of crucial factors and that, without those it's not it's a non-starter. So that's the next thing I've got to do, get sorted out and that'll be for next week and the week after when we have the Backyard Productions meet. Something else that uh, also that I'll be doing is this, uh, which is basically a whole load of folders uh, of stuff. It's nothing grand, the only reason I've done this in sort of separate folders is um, so different people can see different things. So you've got like, um, it's just just images, production design basically, so weapons, ship exterior, the inhabitants, uh, say spaceships, the drift, inside the drift, so that's the corridors and stuff like that, set props, uh, hand props, so you've got props that are on the ground, you know, belong to the where they work, and then you've got things that the guys actually use, so that's hand props, um, salvage ship interior and costumes, so all that sort of thing, so we look at costumes, Let's take costumes out, so, so costumes and then so basically again just gone on the internet I just printed off images that I like so obviously the alien crew there um, looking at all sorts of bits and bobs even computer games are good you know don't be stuff you know Armageddon spacesuit uh, and it's just influences to show the, whoever's going to make the costumes you know what sort of stuff I'm, I'm sort of looking at um, you know, uh, Starship Troopers. Probably won't go for a soldier look because I want to be more sort of civilian. But again, you can take bits from each costume. You don't have to, you know, flight suit there from Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. So, you know, the idea is give that to the costume people. Say, there you go. That's the sort of stuff I'm looking for. They do a bit of research. Come back to me and say, okay, Daz, well, how about this? How about this? Or you can have that, Daz, but it's going to cost loads and loads of money. So, that's it really. Um, oh, no, one more thing. Uh, then there's the director's folder, which uh, this has uh, the what I've written for the. Uh, the plot so far, I'm um, starting to divide it into different acts and then this is I think of something I just put it in there. I'm not worried about the order of events at the moment, what's important is it's written down and it's in here and then I can spend some proper time separately and look okay where's the story going you know I need to make sure everything has to be moving forward not just the story but also the set building and, and, and the props and all that kind of stuff so um, it kind of feeds each other you know. So that's the, that's the sort of just the, the plot itself and then cast list and then the actual script so so far the script is like 20 25 pages um, most of it's pretty rubbish because I wrote it I need someone who knows how to write properly um, but it's the starting point and then the idea again we can go to someone else who knows more about it then the next thing is shooting style and direction so what I've done here is again is I mean I'm only focusing on the alien films at the moment I mean it's not saying it's all I'm gonna look at I'll look at this stuff too but basically taking screen grabs of, uh, of, of shots that I happen to like um, I think look good that I might want to try and sort of emulate in the film uh, sort of styles um, there's also a couple of really good ones actually um, sort of the drama really. so this sort of thing here again about this sort of um, uh, the framing of, of, the, of the spaceship and all that kind of stuff 
and the talking and it's all the stuff in the front of him that's all blurry he's nice and clear and the background's blurry and all that kind of thing so it's making it you know look um authentic and, and real and the lighting here is very nice as well the spaceman leaving the ship you know the shadows and all that blah and the corridors and the this one's like a low camera angle running through the corridor that kind of style and again a silhouette of the of the, uh, the actor, so, so that's all that, you know, that sort of thing there, so I'll be doing that too, and that will be a continuous process. But there we go, that's that's one week's in, in week one. Um, I suspect it will slow down a little bit in some ways now, because it's sort of like a big sort of boom, big bang at the beginning of all the things you need, and then you start getting down to the sort of the nitty gritty of each area, and it kind of slows down, but becomes more focused. At the moment it's been like sort of like a wide type thing, so there we go, that's it.